The International Union of Operating Engineers National Training Fund, National Hazmat Program, is dedicated to delivering exceptional training to its members. Although the content of its many training programs varies, the approach to instruction is very consistent and has been demonstrated to be successful with adult learners. Instruction begins with the delivery of foundation material. This is typically presented in lecture format by subject matter experts and peer trainers. We have found that peer trainers are unique in their ability to translate safety concepts and requirements into the language of their peers. But our training participants also bring with them years of experience and come from very diverse backgrounds. To enrich the experience of all participants, everyone is encouraged to not only ask questions, but to share their unique experiences and perspectives. The discussions that result add depth to the training that could never be conveyed by instructors alone. Demonstrate the concept here of lower explosive to help convey LEL. key concepts, demonstrations are often used. This demonstration illustrates how a flashback can occur with a flammable solvent. And here, the explosive power of oxygen and acetylene is illustrated when it's mixed in the right concentration. And there are always hands-on exercises where training participants get the opportunity to try out equipment and apply their knowledge. Here, operating engineers have the opportunity to handle a radiation survey meter and learn about shielding. The culmination of training on a topic is typically a full-scale exercise. In these exercises, training participants must apply everything they have learned in as real an environment as can be simulated at the training facility. The following video montage illustrates two such events. The donning and use of a Level B ensemble while operating heavy equipment in a hazardous environment, and an entry into a permit-required confined space, in this case, a tank.
one of the most important opportunities for shared learning takes place at the end of the course, immediately following the full-scale exercise. Participants gather together and one by one share what they did right during the exercise and what they would do different next time. They also discuss the most important things they learned in the exercise and in the course. It is through these methods, communication of basic information, demonstration of key concepts, hands-on exercises, and practicing what was learned in a full-scale, simulated environment, that we prepare operating engineers to recognize and address the hazards in their work environments. Thank you.